He's a nice sort of guy, a pleasant sort of bloke, who laughs a lot as happy people do. He greets you with a smile, quick to tell a joke, to cheer you up if you're feeling blue. Nothing seems to get him down, he plays the role of the clown, the part he was born to do. He never appears sad and glum, he's always full of fun and is happy to share a bit with you. When he enters the room you can always tell before he's even rung the bell, he's put a smile on all your faces. He has this way to lift the mood, his jokes are funny but never crude, appropriate for all ages, times and places. Children love him, old ladies too, he keeps it clean, never blue, and the thicker calls, you wouldn't need to worry. You can introduce him to your mum and dad, quickly dismiss any doubts they had, so well mannered with his thank you, please and sorry. But then one day took a sudden turn, kicked the cat, gave a Chinese burn, and told old bird next door to go and get stuffed. When the kids kicked the ball over the fence, he harpooned it with a wooden lance, and told sweet Jeremy to cut a fast as a stupid old puff. Stuck up two fingers to the figure's wife, said I'm fed up with his bloody life, and he's in the rumour he defecated in a duck pond. He ran a mock up the high street, pushed old Mrs Hopkins off her feet, which passed the pointies and folk don't go beyond. Well, the whole town's in a state of shock, who's finally cornered naked by the town hall clock, and we even made the national evening news. A marksman shot him with a tranquilizing dart, as he fell to the ground, he lets out a loud fart, so even when unconscious he could still turn the air blue. But suppose the truth we'll never know what happened to change old Joe from Mr. Happy to Mr. Good and give a toss. But I suppose the moral really is, don't take for granted your happy bliss, because with one wrong word you can all just go and get lost. He was a nice sort of guy, a pleasant sort of bloke, he cheered you up when you were feeling blue, greet you with a smile, quick to tell a joke, though sadly something he'll no longer do.